Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your June 2019 monthly reading. <laughs> What's going on guys? Um, I'm going by instinct this month instead of going by order. I'm letting my feelings kind of pull me and push me to where I should go. So right now, um, I'm going to do Cancer's reading. Whew. I mean, cards are flying out already for you. Let me just go ahead and like... Just what popped out was the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Um, cancer always emotionally is going through something. I have a Cancer moon, so I understand. And my placement for my Cancer moon is in the fourth house. Like everything is at home almost with my planets. And the worst planet that I have, to be honest with you, some people may see it as, oh, that's so great. No, it's not. <laughs> the Cancer moon that I have is in the fourth house. So it's in its home. And I mean, I feel everything. I am subject to the moon waxing. I'm subject to the moon waning. And I am emotionally unstable. I'm already a Pisces, so that doesn't help. Oh my God, these cars are flying out, Cancer. Okay, so let me just focus. <sighs> Ooh. All right, there we go. All right, Cancer. So we have the Three of Wands. Oh, boy. The Ace of Wands. New start. Five of Swords. Temperance. You are dealing with a Sagittarius because the crazy thing is this reading is always is already showing up um, in direct relation to the um, Sagittarius reading. We had the King of Swords and the Hermit after the Temperance, Ten of Wands, oh, Cancer, Seven of Swords. Yep, this yo, you guys are dealing with a Nine of Wands. Okay, and the overall energy is the Eight of Swords. So, Cancer. Oh, goodness. It could be my energy. I don't want to say that because right now I am completely single. I'm not talking to any man. I'm not dealing with anybody. Um, I have completely cut everybody off. So I'm not involved with anybody at all. I'm not attached to anybody. However, I just did Sagittarius' reading and I shuffled these cards very well. I cut them because even when I shuffle, I don't want to be, to, to be subject to anything that I'm doing. So I shuffled about five or six times. I cut the deck and you got almost the same, not the same storyline. It's a variation of the storyline. And I feel like you're on the receiving end. So you could possibly be dealing with a Sagittarius because we have the temperance card. You're, you're going to need to exhibit some sort of patience. And you are. And you're also going to withdraw within. Now, at the center of your your reading is the Hermit card, which I feel like you're taking on this energy of writing it out by yourself, being by yourself, isolating yourself. And as a Cancer moon, I understand that because that's what I'm doing right now. You could possibly also be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Um I feel like you had a falling out or a fight with the Sagittarius, possibly. If you're on your own, you could be trying to start a new start on your own. Well, here we have the yeah, Ace of Wands. And I feel like this air sign, Sagittarius, fire sign, could have possibly really was doing some sneaky stuff behind your back. And I feel like it has you very defensive. I feel like it has you feeling stuck and bound to make a decision that you're not making yet, I don't think. And I think you're retreating within to make this decision about this person. I think this air sign cut you or this person that you're dealing with cut you. 
they hurt you. And you're carrying this like a baby. You're carrying this burden, this hurt, but you're not you're not exhibiting it. You're not talking about it. You're not saying anything. You've actually took this energy of um, I'm isolating myself all around for the month of June. All this energy around you, and I feel like you're just alone. You're retreating within, which cancers can do a lot when they're hurt. They can retreat from the situation. But I feel like in the end, I feel like this is something that's actually going to build you. It's going to grow you. I feel like this is going to make you defensive. But try not to let people and their selfish decisions create who you are, Cancer. I feel like Cancers are very strong, but they could become very defensive, very petty, very, um, they can be, be very immature when they're hurt. And they know that, which is, you know, they'll admit to it, they retreat within, but I don't feel like you should let this situation, you know, bother you. I feel like this Five of Swords, you definitely had a fight with somebody, Fire Sign, Air Sign. I, I'm leaning towards Sagittarius. And you feel like they were being sneaky. And now it's made you on guard and defensive about this Sagittarius or this air sign or this fire sign. It's made you defensive. <sighs> Give me two cards about this five of swords for cancer, June 2019. This is pretty straightforward. You still want to be with this person. You still love them. Or I think it has you kind of stuck at whether you're going to continue this new start on your own. All right. Okay. So could be dealing with a Leo, possibly. A Leo having a lot of options. But you could be fighting with yourself because you have a lot of options. You could be having an internal conflict with yourself about whether to be happy and move on, possibly. The two cards for the three of wands. I think this could, I feel like this could be inner conflict, that five of swords. I don't think you possibly could be, I think you could be fighting with being single, fighting with having these options. Could be possibly dealing with a Libra. Yeah. Somebody broke your heart. You feel like somebody stabbed you in the back. Yep. You feel like a, a fire sign left you out in the cold. And I think they're trying to like offer you. This is so crazy because it was like this was the same thing in the Sagittarius reading where the the this was facing you and you were turned away. And then the Sagittarius reading. The, OK, so it's like this. I think you feel left out in the cold. You're looking towards this heartbreak. And I think this 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 fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, is, is trying to come off you. So they're trying to, but you're trying to turn away from them and keep it pushing because you feel heartbroken. You feel left out in the cold by this fire sign. And the Sagittarius had their card facing towards you offering a staff. That's so crazy. It doesn't have to be a Sagittarius. It could be somebody with Sagittarius in your chart that you don't know about. They could be a Sagittarius rising. Most people don't know what time they were born. But it's a fire sign. And I feel like you left feel left out in the cold by this person who has fire in their chart or is a fire sign. And you're heartbroken. You feel left out in the cold and you're you're trying to move forward, but they are trying, they are chasing after you. And I feel like you're having internal conflict about this air sign or fire sign or whether you should stay and you know deal with it or move forward and be single and look at other options. And I can attest to that. I've been there before, but you want to continue to take this time out, Cancer, to make your decision. Don't rush into any decision. Keep them away from you for now, for the next few months. I would say take a few months to come to this conclusion about what you want to do because, yeah, move on. Move forward. It's going to hurt. You're going to be upset. Give me two cards for this air sign. Um, I feel like you should move on. It's never easy because cancers are very loyal people. Cancers are extremely loyal. And they don't like to take no crap. But let me explain something to you. As tough as they may appear, like the shell of like a crab is tough on the outside and soft on the inside. That's the complete definition of a cancer. Ten of Pentacles for the, the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. This possibly could be a karmic situation, but it's telling me to move 
for you to move on from this air sign. <sighs> and being defensive, because I was looking at the Nine of Wands when this flew out. You got the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. I feel like in, in keeping yourself guarded, in staying like this, I think you're going to get a wish fulfilled. So my advice to Cancer is just don't stay isolated. Don't accept this person's offer. Don't answer them. Don't talk to them. Just stay. keep them away from you. I think in doing so, you're going to get a wish fulfilled. Give me two cards. You're going to get a wish fulfilled. Yep. Oh, my God. This is so close to, this is so close to Sagittarius's reading. You're going to get communication about a truth from an air sign. And I, I feel like just ignore it right now, y'all. Like, I feel like don't. Yep. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. A Libra. The justice card. You're going to get justice about this. Cancer, I just, from personal experience, I'm telling you. In the movie, Two Can Play That Game, Vivica Fox was like, you can do more with silence than you, than you can do ever do by speaking. Don't say anything to them. Continue to ignore them. Just completely cut them off. If it's meant to be, and when you're ready, they're not around, then it's not meant to be. When you're ready and they're around waiting and want to do right, then it's meant to be. But for now, I'm telling you, this is the best advice I could give you because I've been there before. Right now, it's too soon. Do not take them back. Do not talk to them. Um, you don't have to be with anybody else. Sometimes we need to date ourselves. Sometimes we need to be by ourselves. Sometimes we need to take time. We're such in a rush to be with somebody, some people, because they love the idea of being in love or they love the feeling of being in love. Sometimes it just takes time for the other party to understand, you cannot treat me like this. You will lose me. But don't say yes. Don't say no. Just don't say anything. Do not make yourself available to this person because this person, if you do it now, I feel like they are going to continue to do this. They're going to do this. And you're going to continue to feel burdened because cancers are water signs. Any water sign, more than likely nine times out of ten, is empathetic. They have some type of psychic capability and you know when you know. Cancers are very intuitive. They're loyal. Your planet is the moon. You are very empathetic. You know in your gut, if you start talking to this fire sign and this air sign, or you take them back, either with an air sign with fire in their chart or a fire sign with air in their chart, if you take this person back right now, you're going to continue to experience this because they're not going to respect you. Okay? So although they're here trying to give you this, keep your back turned, do not talk to them, Start something new with yourself. This Ace of Wands, I feel like, is an offer to you. Offer your staff to yourself. They're trying to create a new start. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, I feel like it's either uh, mainly a Sagittarius because this was so close to Sagittarius. Right now, just keep to yourself. I feel like, especially with these planets in retrograde, you need to really pull in this karmic lesson you really need to understand about how to how to teach people to how to treat you okay now if you let this person back in right now guess what they're gonna do they're gonna continue to treat you like that because it's like oh, i could do this you're gonna be mad for a second or he's gonna be mad for a second but then i'm gonna go right back to doing it and they're just only gonna take me back teach people how to treat you oh ish like i broke i broke her heart being sneaky. Keep it moving. This definitely could be a Libra. Yep, this is definitely a Libra. And they're going to come rushing in. Libra, fire sign, whatnot, but cancer. <sighs> I feel like this person, if they just started doing this or if they haven't done this before, they're going to continue to do it. Leaving you out in the cold, leaving you brokenhearted. Don't take this, y'all. You don't have to take that. And if it's, it's you doing it, shame on you. But I don't get that cancer's doing that. Not to say the other signs can't be loyal, but I don't, for this reading, I don't get that cancer's doing this. I feel like whoever this is did it to cancer. Okay? So I see Sagittarius here. I see Virgo here. Could possibly be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Because, you know, Wendy got the whole situation. Her husband, her husband's a Virgo. 
Um, I, I don't feel like you need to take them back right now. You need to be guarded and they might come in with the truth, but I feel like your truth, your wish fulfillment will be when you remain guarded and teach them, you know, you can't come here with that, you know, but I hope you enjoyed this reading, Cancer. I ho definitely hope it resonated and I thought, I hope. I was able to bring some enlightenment or it did resonate with your situation. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.